fighting continues to rage in South Sudan. Former Vice President Rick Mashar says his troops will march in the capital, Juba, after retaking the flashpoint town of Bor. The United Nations is raising concerns of ongoing atrocities across the country. And as CCTV's Carol Loyola reports, plans are underway to deploy more officers to maintain law and order in the volatile country. The government of South Sudan and rebel leaders have agreed to attend peace talks in Ethiopia. On Tuesday, the U.S. Special Envoy to South Sudan, Donald Booth, said that this commitment by both sides was a step in the right direction. I see this commitment to send negotiators to Addis as a first step, but a very important step, toward achieving a cessation of hostilities and a beginning to negotiations to resolve the underlying political issues which have led to the violence that has gripped South Sudan for the past two weeks. I will continue to remain engaged with the government of South Sudan, with all other parties and partners who are working to try to achieve a peaceful outcome of this conflict. The South Sudanese Foreign Affairs Minister also confirmed that a delegation of negotiators appointed by President Salva Kiir was set to travel to Ethiopia. So we are for dialogue, unconditional dialogue, without any conditions. It was the other side putting conditions and refusing uh, to, uh, to, to, to send a team of their own. They were refusing equally to, 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 for the cessation of hostilities. Uh, the president has been on record and he said, we don't want the people of South Sudan uh, to die again in, in, in a senseless war. Meanwhile, the mayor of the flashpoint town of Bor has confirmed that rebel fighters have seized the town after intense fighting on Tuesday. The mayor claims that the South Sudanese army has made a tactical retreat to Malwal Chat Army Barracks, three kilometers south of the town. More United Nations police are expected to maintain law and order in South Sudan. Yeah, currently we are trying to work out uh, their deployments, uh, but uh, all in all I can say is that uh, we'll be deploying them in the places where the civilians, they have come to our UNMIS camps and are taking shelter. So that basically would be uh, places like Malakal, Bo, and other places. About 9,000 civilians are seeking refuge at the UN base in Bor. Carol Oyola, CCTV. Malakal, the capital of Upper Nile, one of South Sudan's two main oil producing states, has seen fierce fighting and evacuation of foreigners is proving difficult. Many are trapped in UN camps as they wait to be flown to Juba to be taken home. Although an uneasy calm has been restored in Juba, violence persists in other parts of South Sudan. A South Sudanese army spokesman says rebel forces still control the oil producing center of Bentu. According to the UN, the fighting has displaced up to 180,000 people. The scale of the crisis has challenged an already overstretched mission. We now have approximately 68,000 people that have sought refuge in our camps. And they are uh, in 13 different locations all over the country, or in, in the three major states, first and foremost. Um, the numbers fluctuate, so we've been up to 75,000. In some places, people are returning. In other places, people come in, so they go back and forth. And it is very clear to us, we must not only protect civilians in our compounds and our camps, we must also be able to protect them out there where they are at risk. I think they're trying. They're all aware that we're here. We were put on an evacuation list. So they're doing what they can do, and I, I understand they have procedures, but I would think in a time of war somebody could do something. If you're if we're trying to protect children then this isn't the place to do it.